Hi everyone, Nikki here, Smurfy161. Just coming on to do um, some tags with napkin and music paper. So I'm just going to tilt you down a bit more, I think. Just trying to get the angle right. Oops. I'm going to say there. Sorry, making you drunk there. So yeah, um, I've just made these... I'm only going to do a few on camera because once you've seen that you know what I'm doing and I'm sure you could do something similar or probably a lot better. So what I've done is had some, let's just see, so I'm just trying, really trying to get the angle right and the sun's out so it's trying to make sure there's not too much shade and stuff. So all I did was have some book paper that I folded up and just stitch round and then added some white card on the back so these are going to be tags for future journals so I'm just going to move those ones out the way and I thought and I also made some smaller ones just folding them up even smaller they were papers um, that I had used for gluing on when I did um, so I didn't, oh yeah my glue book or something no, making my Franken paper. Anyway, so I thought rather than throw them away just because they're gluey, I'll fold them up and make them into little tags. So I've done some smaller ones as well and these long ones. Let's just take the lid off my glue. So yeah, I'll do like one large one and one small one with you because once you've seen that, you won't need to see anything else actually. Let's put that over there, up there. Um, yeah, so I've got music paper and I've got these, oh crumbs, come here, hands up to Aunt Martin, the play ball. these chicken um, napkins, my brain's mush, I'm sure it's the weather, or just me not sleeping well. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd use some of these on here as decoration, I have got some of these with some other napkins in my Etsy shop as a pack. I think there's a few packs left, so if you like chickens as well or want a mixture of napkins, check out my Etsy shop. I will leave the link in the more box. So first of all, I am going to separate my napkin. I should have done that before I started, but I haven't really been with it lately. I've been um, having hospital appointments and what have you so yeah I've just been a bit fragile again I'm sorry you must be sick of hearing me say I'm feeling fragile still so I won't harp on so um yeah videos have been a bit all over the place and this was the best tip I learned putting um tissue up paper on the back to get rid of the layers I think I've got all the layers Normally I'd keep that white bit, but I've got so much bits and pieces, so I think, I think that's all the layers. Yeah. Right, and I've got some music paper. It's just, I'm really panicky about not being in frame. So, so I'm just going to add a bit of music paper here and there. Yeah, I thought there's no point me doing them more because once I know you like gluing videos, but once I've done this tag and the small one, it's it'll be enough for you all, I'm sure. And like I said, energy levels are a bit all over the place at the moment, so I'm just pacing myself, otherwise, my GP will be on at me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I saw him. Did I see him Wednesday and today is Thursday so yeah I saw him yesterday but um so we're still playing around with my meds because I'm not fully right but yeah we're just having a little play round and hopefully it will get me back to my kind of normal I never say normal because my normal is different I'm just I'm just a pain in the backside. <laughs> Right, so let's get a little chickadee. I should have got some water because I know that's easier for tearing around it, but I'm limited with space on my desk at the moment, so I have to do it this way. So all I'm doing is tearing the 
little chick out and I'm not keeping all these bits because I'm trying to reduce what I keep. But I just thought there'd be fun little tags to add in a journal. So let's have a little chick down here and I'm using the glue really lightly. So, oh I do like that. Let me just bring it up a bit closer so my little chick. So I think it needs a friend, so let's get a, another chippy. But I love using napkins. I'm a, well, I'm just a craft junkie, really, because I just love crafty stuff. So, yeah, let's have a chick up there. So we just put a little bit of, if I can get the glue. So all I'm using is Modge Podge matte um, that chick's gonna go there so yeah there'll be some future chicken tags in some journals i've got some glue books that i've made and i need to um list them someone it's just i'm sure the weeks get quicker go quicker and quicker so it's not like that so that's that little chicken tag. Let's just see how you're seeing that. So yeah, we've got this little chicky tag. So I will let them dry. Mind you, they shouldn't take too long to dry because for a change it's warm in the UK. And then I'll just um, either put a little hole in and add some ribbon sort of thing. But yeah, I just thought they'd be just a bit different. Not too bulky so you can write on the back. But I'm loving them with the bit of music paper and the text. Right, so let's do a small one. So it's just a little video. Just so I come on and show you what I'm up to at the moment. So this will just have one great big bit on. And just one chick. I'm trying to be good and use um, my stash. Because I'm try really trying not to um, spend at the moment. So... I was hoping I could pick that up, but that's not going to happen. So, I don't, oh, I think the notes are upside down. Oh, well. Not going to worry about that. And we've got another little chick here. And let's have some of its flowers with it this time. Have a bit more flowers. And um, that can go there. So I hope everybody's well. And if you're in the UK, I'm hoping you're liking this sunshine we're having because after all that rain at the beginning of June it was certainly not not fun so uh, yeah I know I'm enjoying it I would be outside but I've got no shade in my garden so so I'm in here and it's a fairly cool room actually that's the one nice thing about this room in the summer it's cool in the winter I need the heat oh oh no I've ripped my chick Oh, okay. I ripped my chicken on that one. I got carried away with the glue. Part of my chick's missing. I've just beheaded my chicken. <laughs> wonder if I can sort that a bit. Oh well. You can see some of it. It's only to just have a bit of decoration on that. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do all these chicken because like I said I've got a range of napkins so I might just like use one sheet of this and mix and match so as I map that one up let's do another I'm just going to go and put these to dry on my shelf and let's do another long one let's do it long one keep wanting the text up the right way but as I'm covering it I don't know why I'm worrying really <laughs> I think I'll put that bit there. So, um, anyway, I was meant to be having my craft class tomorrow, but um, I've got to have some more tests. I've got to have some more blood tests and other tests just to make sure we get the levels right for this medication and stuff like that. So I'm actually missing out on my class tomorrow, but can't be helped, you know. All oh, right. Okay. If I put the glue on that side, that's good. <laughs> oh dear! Now you can see why I put a sheet down on top of my glass mat because I am 
rather messy when it comes to gluing and I don't really want glue on my glass mat because it's a bit of a pain to get off. It's all right if I notice it straight away and I can clean it up but if I forget then it's a pain so I've sort of got in the habit now of doing this. Right so let's get a bit more some more chicky doos. Um, right, so I'll just tear that bit off. You can tell I really plan this out. <laughs> it's like, oh, let's do this on camera. And know me, it'd be a bit of a hodgepodge. Hence the modge podge. Sorry, that wasn't funny. I thought it was funny, but it's not. <laughs> right, okay, not too heavy handed. So we've got some of the flowers as well, which I'm liking so once i've finished all these tags i'll take a picture and add on my instagram because um i think i'm just gonna have that little flower i've been trying to get in the habit of being better with my um using my instagram because i thought what's the point of having it if i'm not really putting stuff on there so i'm trying to get in a better habit of doing that so once these are done i will take a photo and put on my Instagram just if you want to see them finished right so that's that one and then I've just added that little flower at the top I think I'll do one more with you just make it a bit more of a video considering I got the camera out and then I will leave you all in peace so we've done that one so let's do a small one now Right, more music paper. And I like the ripped edges. As you probably know by now, I do like ripping paper. Sorry, I go in a little daydream every now and then, which so I'm going to pop that there. And then let's find a chicken and not muck it up this time. Great, now it's sticking to me. See, that's the problem. I get so gluey. And I'm just going to get rid of that little bit there. So I hope I've been in frame. It's been a few days since I've done a video and I've sort of got a bit out of sync. Um, I think I said a little while ago, I'm trying to upload at least two to three videos a week. They could be at the end of the week. They could be at the beginning. Who knows with me? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, do two to three videos a week. And I'm trying to keep the content, I'm sort of struggling a bit with ideas and stuff, but I've been watching other people's videos and I think sometimes they repeat things or they have a weekly thing. So, and I did my channel so I would enjoy what I'm doing. So I hope you enjoy it as well. Right, so I'm sure you get the idea by now. So we've got this one. And I will leave you all in peace. And like I said, once these are dry and everything, I will take a photo of them and put them on my Instagram. And I will link, to, um, not link to it, but put my Instagram name up. So if you want to follow me, you can. And of course, I will follow back. Um, if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And I always subscribe back. So thank you very much. See you all soon. Bye.